Hi everyone, how's it going? It's uh, it's mail day. Well actually, it was mail day about three or four days ago, but um, I've been very ill this past week. Um, so I wasn't really in any fit state to record, and you know, if my voice sounds a little bit off now, that's why. So, the other day, I went on Kyos Cards, my usual online retailer, and I ordered a load of stuff. So you know I said I was behind on sets? I'm not anymore. So, here is the box. Pretty big box, wouldn't you say? Now, I'm really excited to get into this. I wanted to wait to, to open this box. Like, it's been killing me for days because I really want to open this box because there's loads of great stuff in it. But I couldn't open it because I wanted to wait to be able to do it on camera. So, shall get my trusty knife and let's get straight into this box. Now, as things stand, it is currently the 12th of November. Internationals is right on top of us. Am I prepared? The honest answer is no, I'm afraid. I haven't really done that much testing at all. I did go to Lancaster yesterday um, to do some testing with some of my teammates, so I, I do have a deck choice. I was quite limited in what I could use, to be honest. So I'm hoping that some of the cards that I need are going to be in this box. In the boxes in the box. But, if not, then I can just order them online. And I'll all be set next weekend, which is going to be a great weekend. You know, I love travelling, I love meeting new people, so going to a big international event like this is just going to be fantastic. Ah, this is great. Okay, so, the main items of this box. Should we go in reverse order? Or let's just go from the top. Box number one. Crimson Invasion. Now, I know this set isn't great. Everybody is really rubbishing it up, saying, oh, Crimson Invasion's got nothing good in it. But ever since Primal Clash came out a couple of years ago, traditionally, when a new set has come out, I've bought a booster box and a folder so that I can collect the set. Now, I've never actually completed a set. Um, not only the recent ones, I've never completed a TCG set full stop. But that is about to change. More on that later. Um, so I'd just like to buy a booster box, even if the set's rubbish, just so I can collect the set and put it in a folder and make it look nice. So, Crimson Invasion. So we're up to date with the current set. Burning Shadows, August set. Of course, in August I didn't, I couldn't afford to get this at the time in August, and when it came out, I was away as well, so I didn't even go to a pre-release for Burning Shadows, so I have very few Burning Shadows cards. I do now. And then going further back, Guardians Rising. It's the May set. Now, I did go to a pre-release for Guardians Rising, of course, the vlog of which is on my channel. You'll have to go back a few months. Um, not that I recorded much after that, to be honest. So it's probably not that far back. Anyway, Guardians Rising. Now, are we going to have some goodies in this box? By goodies, I mean Tapu Lele's. But to be honest, I recently ordered a couple of Tapu Lele's, which, if you've watched my pre-release vlog from three weeks ago, which will be on the channel by the time you're watching this, but isn't at the present moment in time, I did actually go on eBay and just buy some Tapu Lele's, so um, I don't technically need Tapu Lele's from this box, but it would be nice to get one or two. To be honest, the card I really want from this is Drampa, because at the moment uh, my deck for next week is incomplete, and guess what I need? I need a Drampa GX. Or two. But they're only six quid on eBay, so I can always get them on eBay. Right, so three booster boxes. That's the main bulk of the box. Okay. I've also got another Tapu Coco pin collection, because I love Tapu Coco. And opening pink collections is fun, so that's that. The rest of the box is folders, because I do like my collection folders. I got myself a nice little, you can't even see that because the light's reflecting off that. There we go. I got myself a nice little A5 Pokeball folder. This is going to be for um, promo, like league stamped promo cards. Like, you know when you go to Pokemon League and you get the, um, the stamped promo cards um, with the Pokemon League stamp? Or like when you go to regionals or something and you get like a stamped regionals promo Anything like that is going to go in this folder because I've got a, a, like a little A5 Charizard folder that I've got everything in with like ordinary promos from like blister packs and stuff and all the league stuff, but there isn't room for both of them. So I thought, get myself a nice little Pokeball folder. And um, as all the league stuff is a Pokeball stamp anyway, it seems pretty fitting to get the Pokeball folder. So that's for that. Um, Evolutions A5 folder. Um, now, when I bought my booster box of Evolutions, at the time, they didn't actually have any of the um, Evolutions A4 folders online, so I just put it in a random, um, just generic Pokemon A4, A4 folder. But the folder that it's in, I now want to use for Shining Legends, when I eventually get my hands on that. So, I thought if I buy an Evolutions folder, then I can swap all the Evolutions cards into here, and then I've got another free folder. Perfect. Then we've got... Guardians Rising folder, 
with that is a Tapu Coco on the front and a Lola Nuttail on the back, which you can't even see because the light's reflected off it. And then this will be the Crimson Invasion with the Buzz Wall on the front. And um, no, that's not Buzz Wall, is it? Idiot needs. Good Lord, let's get it right. Um, and then Cartana on the back. On the back. So that's my Crimson and Invasion folder. And the last item in the box is my Burning Shadows folder, which. There you go, you can just about see it there. That's the trouble when I, when I have the camera sort of on the windowsill and the wind the window is like in front of me as I stand here now. It makes for great light because, you know, it's actually quite dark in this room by, at the moment, but the light from the window makes it look like there's more. So there we have it. Empty box. So all in all, pretty good. Um, so yeah, internationals next week. I can't even, well, it is next week, but it's like five days away. I go in five days. Awesome. It's so, like, up until like, sort of this weekend, I hadn't been feeling it that much, but the excitement is starting to build a bit now, and I think as we go through this week, I will get more and more excited for it, because, like I said, I love travelling, and I love meeting new people, and I love vlogging these events for you. Um, it's as much for me as it is, as, 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 as it is for all you, my viewers, because it's, for me, it's just, it's just a memory, like, having the videos is a way I can look back on the event and remember it. It's like, I can watch the video, and I, I can be right there. Um... So yeah, that is um, coming up this week. Hopefully I'll have my voice back properly by then. Um, to be honest, I was quite glad I got ill this past week and not this coming week. That would have been disastrous, um, given how much I've spent on this London trip. Um, I haven't even got my train tickets yet. I must do that this week or I can't even get there. Um, but yeah, so... Um, this stuff, right. Um, I am going to open all of this stuff on camera. Um, and I'm going to do it all, like, today... I think I'm gonna try and open as much as I can. Obviously, I mean it's it's ten past four now. I'm I'm gonna try and be, be in bed by half past nine. Early nights every night this week, so I'm awake for Friday, you know. Um, but I'm gonna record it, edit it. I'm gonna to have to do, I obviously edit one video at a time. Um, but my so my intention, I think, I'm gonna try and give you one video every day this week. Um, so today I'm gonna to have to. I don't think I'm going to get any videos up tonight, but tomorrow will be the pre-release vlog, which you will have already seen from, like, three weeks ago, which I should have already done, but haven't. Um, that'll be followed by probably... Well, that'll be followed by this, and then any of... Then the, the three booster boxes, and so I'll swap the Tabu Coco Pin collection in there somewhere as well. Um, so you're going to get bombarded with videos this week, and then after that, it's going to be all about the internationals vlogs. Um, if you do, if you are coming to internationals, feel free to come and find me, come and say hi. Um, like I said, I love travelling to events and meeting new people, so, you know, just come and find me. Um, be happy to talk to anybody, so, um, yeah. That is going to be it for today, because I don't know how much longer my voice is going to hold out before I start coughing my boots up again, so, yeah. Loads to look forward to. Can't wait to dive into these products, because I love opening products. There's nothing better than opening up product. Like, I know some people say to me, oh, why do you buy booster boxes? You might as well just buy singles. But the excitement is in opening the boxes because you just don't know what you're going to get. And that's fantastic. So I'm going to dive into these boxes and I'll see you all next week at the International Championships. See you later.